mindset mindset this thing has really really limited a lot of people it have it has boxed lots of people in a shell in a box and that is why i am here to level all the mountain we have built over the time as regards to our mind no matter how much you know no matter how much you've acquired if your mind is not set right you are as good as someone who have not acquired anything and someone who knows nothing so right mindset is an is a must hello everyone greetings to you all my name is ella obans welcome to my channel if you are new here please do well to subscribe please subscribe thank you and if you're an old subscriber welcome back to my channel um welcome back <laughs> thank you so much for staying around so today i want to discuss this thing called mindset this mind how it works the things that contribute to how our mind works because i've come to realize that whatever we have in our mind whatever we keep in here automatically determines what we are going to put out there who we are going to become out there and what kind of lifestyle we are going to portray out there it is no longer news that everyone acts and talk according to their mindset it is just that way and we cannot we can barely even challenge it because it is psychological proven it is religious proven like if a christian it is proven scripturally scripturally because it is said that um, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So whatever you think you are, that is who you are. Whatever you think you are not, you are not that person. It doesn't matter how much you fake it or you try to wear a mask. So today I want us to learn the things that contribute to our mind so that we will be conscious of all these things, even those we had in the past and those we acquired in the present time. Because a man's life, everyone's life is weighed by the quality of their mind. When people speak, you don't need to ask them who they are or what kind of person they are. You automatically know the kind of person they are and the kind of life they are likely going to live and the kind of attitude you are, you are going to be expecting from them in the long run. It is that simple. So today on this video, I would want to teach us the things we need to let go of, things that contribute to the way we think, the way we act. Maybe you are someone that is very angry, that easily gets angry. You you don't know that the, the, your mind, something you've accumulated has been a problem to it. And I wouldn't want to waste your time. Let's just delve into the video of today so i have my things you need to do in order to set your mind right the first one is personal ideology if you want to have the right mindset you have to let go of your some of your personal ideology take for instance now you do not like trousers you don't like people that wear trousers maybe because you believe it is a sin it's your personal conviction and it's not an avenue for you to see others out there as sinners or maybe people that are going to go to hellfire because you do not like trousers or maybe your mind tell you that is a sin it's your personal ideology so you should not impose it on others and you should not feel um look down on them or maybe think of think them think less of them because maybe you look down on them or think they are less of human or maybe not righteous because they wear a certain outfit you have to understand that you have a personal conviction that this is the outfit that is best and it's okay for them that is what suit them best all you have to focus on is the similarities you you both share that is going to benefit you too and focus on it you, you you shouldn't be entirely interested in how people are dressed especially if they are not showing their body maybe they're wearing trousers they're wearing face cap they're wearing earrings and all that so you have to ensure that your personal ideology does not get in the way in your relationship with people in your communication communication not communication please in your communication with people the moment you have deal with your personal ideology, you are going to um, have more opportunities. You are going to get get into the circle of the right people you might be needing to work in this life. So the next thing that affects your mind is your past experience. I'm going to tell you the truth. I have, I've 
everybody have a, a, a past experience they barely want to talk about and they don't even want anybody to know about at least if you are, if you do not have i do i have things i have mistakes i did in the past i have so many things that when i remember i'm going to cringe like i shouldn't have done this i wish i can take back the hands of time and redress and adjust my mistakes and my past experience and maybe prevented it but i cannot change the time neither can you so you have to stop building your mind on the fact that men has come like nobody has broken my heart but i have seen a situation whereby people um have been heartbroken and probably they put in their best for the relationship to work out but things did not work out so you shouldn't go on with that mindset because of your past experience with a certain guy that is not even a guy that is known all over the globe even if he's known all over the globe there are still guys and ladies out there who are different so you should not build your mind on the fact that everybody every lady out there is a war every man out there is is calm is calm or whatever you guys call it so please stop building your mind on past experience maybe begin to say that um because 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 you got you you was a, you were involved in an accident while you were traveling to lagos so you can never travel to lagos you are building your mindset you are limiting yourself from going to place that is good for you you love to be in all because of the mind or because of your past experience so try to get over one thing about mind is that once it is built, it is built, every other thing begins to work in your favor. It is that simple. So you have to intentionally work on your mind. The next thing that could um, affect the smooth running and the smooth functioning of your mind is your tradition, your culture, and your belief. I know that the Muslim could be listening to me. You could be listening to me as a Muslim. You could be listening to me as a Christian, a Buddhist, or traditionalist you have to understand that it is your belief and you don't have to impose it on others i have been to seminars i've been to conference even if i want to and if you have been around my channel you will know that i speak about my belief i speak about my religion but i try to let you know that i am not imposing it on you except you want to adapt or maybe i um, adopt my religion willingly it's fine and you are fully accepted but the fact that i want to pass across information i wouldn't want my belief to come in the way because in the end we are all human we are first human before we began to have muslim christian buddhist and the rest of it so that is what all my all my dedication is to human humanity to serve humanity so you have to cut down on your tradition your culture you begin to say in my culture we don't wear red on sunday i know something like that barely exists but i'm just giving you instance and i don't want to make just of anybody's culture that's why i don't want to bring an existing culture here but you have to understand that do, you are not meant to build your mind solely on that culture because it's going to limit the no, the level of exposure and progress you are going to as you are going to experience in whatever field you are you are functioning in so because you are a deeper lifer it doesn't negate it doesn't mean you should the disregard those in christ embassy because they wear trousers to church it does not mean they are sinners actually it's god that decides who those who are serving him so you have to intentionally understand that whatever belief i have should not stop me from mingling with people it should not stop me from working with people because these people are first human before this belief come forth before this tradition was built before it was made okay so you have to be conscious of your tradition your culture and your belief i am i am not against it if you know yours and it favors you please keep on upholding it but try your best not to let it be a standpoint of what others should do what life should be like okay you have to understand that everything comes to a neutral ground where you respect everybody's culture and tradition and it shouldn't make you feel bad because other people have a different culture and tradition and belief okay that is going to help your mind function properly the next thing that could stop your mind from functioning right is your past experience okay i've said that already the next thing is your word mind what you speak stop telling people you are mad see or you tell someone you are stupid or you begin to tell your friends your siblings yours your spouse or your fiance 
you are useless see no matter how angry you are try your best to condone the words you say sometimes we cannot get hold of it but try at least most of the times to get hold of what you speak because the bible said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh and when you whatever you speak it, it says in the book of Ephesians, I am using the scripture because it's my base, it's my, it's my manual. It says that what whatever you say, the angels do not know the difference. They don't know when you are joking and when you are playing. They automatically take it in and take it to the Father to grant it as a request for you. So you have to intentionally mind what you are saying. Stop saying I'm tired. Stop saying I am finished. Stop saying I am dead. All those words could be funny. It could make sense to you what situation you are trying to relate it to. But the fact you are not dead, right, does, does not qualify you to say that you are dead, okay? The fact that you are not finished, you are still breathing, does not qualify you to say, I am finished. The fact you... You you are you are not dead yet. It's not does not negate the fact that you should start saying um, my my life is miserable. You are still breathing and you can still make adjustment. It might not come with ease. It might not come as as quick as you want it. But just know that change can be done. Okay, don't overthink things. I have this friend and this is my friend have helped me so much because I'm someone that used to worry a lot. And when I'm worried, I start to think so many things, so many thoughts. I start to bring in so many negative ideas. One thing he told me is, whenever you want to feel on ease about situations, just remember that there will always be a way out. Just remember, when you tell yourself there is a, there must be a way out of this situation, you automatically condition your mind on what to say and what not to say. And I want you to adopt that. Try to say the right things, no matter what is happening around you. Try to say the right words to yourself. Even if you feel you are not beautiful, tell yourself, I'm beautiful. Even if you feel things are not working fine, tell yourself, I'm prospering. God has given me speed. I am favored. I am the most sought after. Keep on saying what you want to see and not what you see. Because the, the word of faith says that faith is calling things that are not as though they were and they will come forth. So you don't say things that are that you are seeing, things that are not as though they were and they will come forth. So this does not limit to the negative and um, positive aspect. The moment you begin to call forth that you are finished, you are calling forth finish to come and finish you. Okay, so please don't do that. You don't want to do that, right? Family background. Most people begin to say, men do not cook in my household. My parents do not used to do this to me. My my parents do not, they say I should not love a man. My parents say that the only thing that I should, I should do when I'm in a relationship is just for the man to take care of me and pay my bills. Hello, that is your family, but that is your upbringing. And when it comes to family background, maybe your family people die at 30 you begin to feel okay this is how we should be maybe people usually get disabled or maybe die of diabetes at 50 you begin to feel oh this is my family background oh and hey, this thing now you die in my lineage oh. your mindset regards to your life should not regards to your identity should not be built on your family background why because you are more than that that is not who you are and i'm going to make a video on identity who you are because most times people don't even know what who they are that's why they begin to believe their family background their family limitation their off upbringing so people will say um, my mo my mother did not buy me shoe until I'm 15. So therefore, my children will not wear shoes. They will keep on wearing slippers until they're 30, until they're 15. Hello. That is a, an upbringing and a family background that you should not adopt because you experienced it or because it was imbibed in your own time. Does not validate the fact that it is good. It is not. So you need to come off it. Hello, darling. Come off it. Okay. So the next thing you have to be conscious of is, uh, in order to build your mind right, is your association. I made a post to my WhatsApp folks the other day. I was telling them that when I told a friend I bought a book 10,000, the person called me a wasteful human being. And I am the kind of person that takes every word someone speaks to me, someone that is close to me speaks to me. I take it to heart. Like I hold it. 
and it's not something I do sub I do consciously. It's something that comes to me subconsciously. That is why I choose my friends. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how you choose me or how you like me. So far, you don't have the right. You don't say the right things. So far, you are not a good company for me. I am definitely going to cut you off. I'm sorry if you feel that I cut you off from my life. You are not contributing any good to me, and it's causing me more harm than good. So some friends are toxic, and we don't want to believe it. Some friends are talking down on you. You wear clothes, they tell you, hmm, this clothes they are wearing that make you look like um, Mary Amaka or that make you look like my, my village, village grandmother. You don't need those kind of friends. They are not the right association for you. The moment my friend told me because I bought a book that is going to give me value, that is going to add value to my life, I bought it 10000 Even if they feel like it's expensive, they should at least tell me, well done. Um, you should try to do this or maybe suggest a better, a, a cheaper way of getting that book better. But telling me that I'm wasteful because I bought something that's going to add value to my life does not make you my friend. It automatically means you don't value my growth as I do for you. Because I was telling the person, actually, maybe for us to read the book together or maybe for him to get it, but... You need to be conscious of your association. I'm also maybe going to make a video on association, how to choose friends. So if you want me to make that video, also indicate in the comment section, I'm going to make the video. So the next thing you have to be very, very, very conscious of when you want your mind to be set right is the internet. Mind what you read, and most times you cannot truly, you cannot entirely have control of what you read. That is why you have to intentionally let go of the things that are not right, the things that do not add value to you. The moment you start digesting them, the moment you start reminiscing on them, you know, I there was a time I always stumble on a post trying to tell how bad people's marriage are, how how they want to leave their marriage in two weeks of marriage. I began to be afraid. Honestly, I began to be scared of marry, getting married. I used to be like, ah, I don't know this person I want to marry. This person, I don't know. I was so scared. So it took my mentors to start talking me out of it. Like, you are going to get married to the right person and this person is going to love you right. Not what you see on the internet. So I didn't mean I did not have the right people around me. I would have built my mindset on the fact that marriage no longer work. This is not about spirituality. It's not about how well you pray. But you have to intentionally take note of all this. So I'm going to give you a quick recap as we end this video for now. You have to be conscious of your personal ideology so that it doesn't get in the way of you building the right mindset. Your past experiences, take note of that because they can limit you as, as, as relating to the fact that your life is a clear picture of what your mind is all about so the third one is your culture and tradition your belief do not hold it so much that you are so ignorant you are so resistant to change that is positive for your life your words mind what you speak mind what you say your family background mind what you've heard from your family what you've accepted from your family background that are not in coloration with what should be okay if you are looking for where to build your mind on focus on the word of the lord okay the bible said in joshua 1 8 that study this book of law you should not depart from your mouth study it day and night for out of it your success lies so if you want to build your mind you have to intentionally study the word of the Lord. You're going to find other Bible verses that are benefiting to you. Also, I made mention of your upbringing because you were brought up in a certain way should not make you feel like this is how it should be. Association, mind the people you talk to, mind the people you listen to, mind the people you, you stay around, mind the kind of things they do because it's definitely going to affect the way you think. Also, the internet, mind what you download from the internet, mind what you feed your mind on on the internet because it has a way of affecting your mind totally. So I believe you got value from this video and if you do so, please do well to share this video, like this video and leave a comment in the comment section if there is any video, anything you want me to make a video on and co a concept you want me to share with you uh, on the video, please do well, drop it, do well to drop it in the comment section. I will gladly make a video on that. 